So let's pan over here to the V-bar setup and we'll kind of go. See that here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna plug this in. We're gonna bind, so we're gonna go to transmitter setup, bind unit, wait for the unit to pop up here. And click on that. All right, we're bound to it. Now, I'm gonna go to oops, model setup, and we're gonna do a new model because Whatever the case, I just want to start a new model. Other 700. Okay. And we're just going to wait for this to finish. All right. There we have it. We have a new model started now. So I'm going to go in here and we'll type this out real quick. We'll call this the... Ill Goblin. All right. Um, I usually have face up wires front to tuck in the wires. Uh, we'll see if that's the case. Actually, I've seen most people with the wires back, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it wires rear. You can always change this later, but we do have to make sure before we fly uh, which direction we have it set up. Okay, clockwise main rotor is default. Because I'm going to program my servos, I'm going to reset this all to normal. So nothing's going to be reversed and everything's going to be zero. So I'm going to go to the trim because I want to be in a menu where it's going to be my give me center stick. And I'll, I'm going to program the back elevator servo center point. And also reversing if need be. So let's plug this in. So on the back of the, so this is the uh, Theta servo programming box. This step is separate for folks building this helicopter that are using this build video as a guide. Um, this is specifically for Theta servos. Uh, so you can skip ahead to the part, um, basically skip ahead and just um, center your servos through the uh, your fibrous unit. So I'm gonna put this here and mount this. The input and the servo. Single wire goes on the S, so it's on the inside here. And then I'm gonna plug this into the Neo. And this gray wire is your signal wire. So that's gonna go to channel one. This is just gonna be my uh, elevator servo, which is on the back. So this is gonna mount this here. And we want to be centered at 90 degrees or in line with the servo here. So I'm going to go in. And what that does is now this is taking the signal from the Neo and plumbing it through here and giving it in. Showing you that I'm at a 1502 pulse. If I were to get out of this, um, I can change the pulse width with my collective stick. You can see there. But I do want to trim it out. So I'm going back to here to get a 1500 signal from the Neo which is telling the servo to be at its center point. So I'm gonna now take the servo horn and mount it in the direction I want. So we'll see here, it's not really centered. If I go this way or this way, that's probably the closest one compared to going to this line, just a little bit more way over. Um, also, since this is theta, we can see the programming of the servo right now. Um, which already has a neutral spot. So I'm gonna reset this neutral spot first. Back to zero. I don't know if you can see it with the flickering. And then right to it, go back in, read it. Make sure it's stuck at zero, it is. So then I'm gonna go back out. Uh, exit and then go in. So now the servo's again getting the signal from the fly rolls unit. And I'm gonna then line this up to the spline that I want to use. So that's too much. I think that's the closer one. So let's push that on. And I'm gonna actually use a two and a half here and screw this servo in with Loctite. Okay. 
And now I'm gonna set the midpoint for the servo. And I'll show you how to do it. I'm gonna do it all from these two things here. So I'm gonna exit out, I'm gonna go back in, read the servo, go up to get to neutral. And then I'm not sure which direction this is gonna go. Um, so I'm just gonna go one way and see if it helps. So I'm gonna go about like three degrees because I feel like that's about a couple degrees over that needs to be uh, to be centered. Okay, if I go three, right servo, go exit, back to prom, then read servo. Oh, sorry. I wanna go right servo and then go in. Oh, it moved in the direction I want. It's almost there, but not yet. So let's go exit. I'm gonna go prom, program, read servo, go up to neutral. Now, the positive number was the right direction. Let's go another degree. Hit enter, the middle button to get out of it, and then hit the right button to right. We're gonna exit, go in, and that's gonna activate the servo from the fly rose unit. So, this, this looks pretty close, but maybe a hair off. So let's go, let's say go half a degree. And that's how uh, you can go in very small increments and get this going to be absolute perfect if you wanted to. So let's go back into program and then we'll read and then go up to the neutral. We're gonna go half a degree and click the middle button to exit out of that. Then right button to right servo, exit, and then go in and it did move. And I think, I think I'm going to call that where I want it to be. Um, it looks good enough. All right. So that's servo number one. So I know that's good. I'm going to uh, exit out and unplug this. Now on the fly rolls unit, I can plug that servo in when file is ready, but I'm still going to build it. So I'm not going to plug it in right now. But I'm going to now go to channel two. We'll get the front two elevator so I mean front two aileron servos sucked up. And configured here. So alright. So we're gonna I'm gonna say this is gonna be the front, I don't know, doesn't matter. Whichever side, one of the sides. I'm gonna go edit model, get in here, go to the swash, trim that. Go to trim. Okay, so this is going to be the one at the front, I guess the front right. And the servos uh, lean inwards on this model, so the bottom is cantered out. So we're going to have that part like this. And we want to basically just match the servo horn to it. So I want to make sure that the servo is centered first. So I'm going to go to program, read, and then go up. And make sure this is in all zeros. I think you can see that. Okay, and let's go out of this. Uh, okay, that's pretty close. I think I went just a little too far. I'm gonna dial it back just a little. I went to three degrees. I'm gonna go two and a half, but let's go two. Dial back one degree. I mean, mm, it looks close. Not close enough. Maybe half a degree. back to 2.5 yeah I think right there I know it's hard to tell in the video but that's should be right there lined up all right so that's gonna be this servo 
we'll get a bolt for it and lock the servo horn in. Okay. And we'll move on to the next servo. that into the next spot so servo number three plug this in okay same type of setup we're first gonna go in here and see if there's anything programmed in here and there is so I'm gonna dial that back down to zero right servo let's go back in it and now we're gonna go actually exit and go turn it on and this is gonna be now the servo on the front left so it's just gonna mount this way and let's get a servo horn on there let's come out this way and then oh that's pretty close we'll go with that one See, it's just off by a little. It's just kind of go a little to the right. So we're gonna go exit, program, read, up arrow. Let's go a little to the, I think it's positive number. Let's try. Go two degrees. Right servo, and then go in. We'll turn the servo on. Oh, went the other way. So we're gonna go. And I didn't do the reversing, so I need to hook everything back up and try to see the reversing. But let's go three degrees negative, right, exit, and then in. Oh. A little too far. So let's dial it back. It's kind of a trial and error thing um, when you're using a programming box, but it's still you can get them pretty dialed in perfectly. So, I think that's it. I think that's good right there. All right, I'm gonna lock that in. check the direction make sure so servos can be installed like this so up down up down okay up down up down that looks good go in turn on the servo and then this is gonna be laying like this so up down up down Good. All right, cool. So my servos are set up. 